All right, what's good, y'all? It's Rocco. We're back at it again, playing The Walking Dead season two. Uh, this time, I'm playing season two, episode two. Yeah, I finished. Uh, I finished up episode one last night on the stream, and I also uploaded the video on my channels. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited, man. Like I said, I'm already hooked on, hooked to this game. I can't wait to stream more and more. And of course, like I can't wait to stream more and upload more of Telltale games because I'm a huge fan. All right, let's talk. Let's let's just get right into it. Let's go. Here we go. Chapter. Oh yeah. So that's episode two. The house divided. Okay, really, I'm also sipping on some Modelo and some uh, nacho cornets. So some good stream vibes. Previously on the wall. And it's also, it's also nighttime for me. How about y'all? Y'all good? Freezing. All right, here we go. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Uh, would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! I forgot the old man got bit. It could be a pity. Could on. be. A Nick! God damn it, Nick! We have to go. Here we go. Episode two. Season two, episode two. The Walking Dead. Dun dun dun. Okay. So we we retreated to this truck. Well, they shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. Did he get bit? Looking at? Oh shit, he got bit. Staring ain't polite. Come on out and say it. What are you going to do? Hand me that there. Oh, he went right straight into it. Cut it, cut it off. But it didn't work fully. Hmm. Cutting it off won't work. Says who? I knew someone who tried it. Just because it didn't work once don't mean it can't work at all. I get a reasonable response. Cause it didn't work fully. Oh my god, no, no. That's a whole leg. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. 
It's just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Nice. So I can't clear, can't, can't do it. Uh, let's see how many are there. Open the backpack. It's water left. <coughs> Anything in that? Sorry, it's empty. <coughs> Damn. Damn. I'll keep saved looking it. around. I should have saved it. Thought I could get some info from where Krista is, but it turns out it was a waste. Damn. My wrong. My regret. What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. No, he needs it. it here. I'll give it to him. Got a light? Tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? We wait. Is he turning? Just in case. Just in case. Pete, are you alive? Please don't be dead. Just poke him? Yes. Ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking. And I don't want to die. <coughs> thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. What does it feel like? It feels like, like a rope was wrapped around my neck. I'm getting tighter every second. It feels like I can't, <coughs> can't breathe. Would you, would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. He's been playing a tough hand, but he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm 
not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. Nah, he's gone with me. He's sticking it out. We die. We're right You're together. Coming with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. All right. I ain't leaving. I'll him. try. Well, like my daddy used to say, <sighs> we're burning daylight. Let's get this over with. I really, didn't want to, I really did want him to come to get to try. He's, you know, damn, sacrifice himself. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! We all got split up. I was with Pete, but... My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Oh, she mean business when it comes to her husband. Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. She gets nervous. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please. Mm, she shouldn't really shouldn't scare. You shouldn't scare people like that. Sorry, I just wanted to cheer you up. Isn't this the best? What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Mm. Um, you're scaring me. They're just fishing. I know that's not true. Oh damn, she's already through it. <sighs> Trying to worry her a lot. Sorry, I I, I just need to. You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? Oh, wow. I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? 
Nobody tells me anything. As long as you don't tell your dad. I won't, I promise. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, always aim for the head. Okay. Unless it's a person trying to hurt you, then what do I do? Just keep shooting. What should I shoot? Don't do that! Oh, don't know. S sorry, sorry. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! Okay, I thought I was once in another room. Okay. Who is this? That's not Luke. Plum, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Nah, he seems shady. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? I've been out all morning, and this heat has got me cooked. Yes, I do mind. Yeah, I do mind. Boy, get the fuck out of my house. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. There could pack a lot of folks in there. Just me and, and Dad. Yeah? What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I ain't saying shit to you. He's interrogating me. Try to get info. But I ain't buying it. I ain't taking the bait. He trying to put it all like. All. Say. Say. Uh, all comfy. Like. In his interrogation. But I see right through it. But he ain't getting no info people. out of me. Looks like a tornado ran through here. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Oh my god, this is nice. passing through or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here and I Grab only don't want to leave. 
Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. Get the fuck out of my house, bro. Well, this is a real nice place. Bitch. Kinda cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug, son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What's his name? Carlos. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Well, it's a kid. Yeah, looks like it was taken in this room. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Better get the fuck out of my house. Don't come back. You have a real good day now. Yeah, don't come back. Get your... <sighs> Stupid ass out. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. You just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. We don't know anything yet. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. 
Alright, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. Alright, you're scaring your daughter. Unbelievable! He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. You have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. And you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm actually sorry. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. and feral blood. Anyone see him? Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. You gotta get moving. Come on, man. Damn, I feel bad for Nick. It's the only family he has left. Be good, be a shot in the head. Tell me, tell me how it happened. He 
He saved my life. Well, that was... that was Pete. I'm sorry. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Five days later. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. All right, what am I looking for? There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, eat this, Beck. But we're almost out of food. We gotta save it. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. He's got a point. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just... I could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Safety. Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Safety? Close. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Something you can't just find. Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Familia. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. 
We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I know what that's like. Yeah. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. There are only two. I don't know. Let's take them. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I think. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. All right. Melee weapon ready to go. I like it. Go ahead. Give us a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. Nice work, kid. Ow. I thought I, could, I thought I can go for the leg, then go for the head. Damn, alright, I'll go for the head. Let's keep going. Ooh. 
We got ourselves in the pick in the pick pickle. We got what well, we got out there. You see him? This guy coming up. Yeah. Just play it cool. You do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. You know, on second thought, maybe I should do the talking. I'd shoot me. Well, that's a hell of a thing to say. I'm just saying. Well, if it comes to that, I'll shoot him first. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. Wanna help me out here? I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. All right, it's coming closer. Huh? You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? <laughs> what does no that mean? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north, like everyone else. Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Do you know Carver? Carver? Like George Washington Carver? The peanut guy? What? He's a man. Never heard of him. But now I want some peanut butter, though. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Nick, no! Oh shit. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? We thought you were in trouble. You were waving your arms. He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Damn, he was a good guy. He was gonna help us. Give us food and all that. Damn it, Nick. You your itchy trigger finger. And your lack of using your brain. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. That's not what it looked like to me. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? Because you're an asshole? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look. I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. 
you could use a little downsizing. <laughs> no. You're one to talk. Roasting his ass. Sure. Thanks, Clem. There's a station house for food. All right, let's talk to them. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. I had to kill my mom. Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Ace of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Look, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He was just a guy. Yeah. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. What? Oh, I think it's a watch. I think that's the watch I took when I was sneaking in to get some medical supplies to fix my arm. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. This means... Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. Alright, I see what's in here. said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. Trunk. Get it open. I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Ooh, that's nice. Feels pretty good. I guess he slept here. It's dead. <laughs> Jim made it open with a knife. I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever known anyone to do a thing like that? Group. Eh, lots of people. Lots of people. It happens all the time now. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. <laughs> I 
That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. I you understand, that. right? Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. It doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. And just a, a really tall treehouse. Made of steel. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. I actually hate it, you know? Oh. It's kind of awesome. In my book. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. I think sort of confidence, bro. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? Got your grip? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. Damn, all right, slow, don't look down. Made it. Ah. See anything? I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, just do what he says. Oh, it's Kenny. What's up, Ken? You know what? Yeah, this is a holy shit moment. Let's go for it. Holy shit. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll 
I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Good to be back with Kenny. Damn. I saw the song. I thought he had, he had like a horde of, horde of walkers coming at him. But, damn, I, but he's a tough son, bitch. He got through it. Luckily. Damn, so cool. So, so cool. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Us. Good. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey. Hey, we're cool. We're cool. Clementine? They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Wholesome moment between them. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Mm hmm. For a fact. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to. It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well... Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand, and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... 
And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. Kenny, well, he never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Hmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. Peaches and beans. That's all we got. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Grand Lodge. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Oh, let's play some tunes. Reminds me of school. Oh, can't go that way. Okay. What's this song you're humming? Wood King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, scoot my page, tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage, freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> It means that doing good things for people can be good for you, too. But it's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. Yeah, yeah. What did you see, Clementine? I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. 
We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Heck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. I can't believe all this stuff. Okay, go this way. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? It's okay. We're gonna get you something soon. Can I? She's gonna be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. I gotta look around the lodge. See what else is there. What's there? I'll still explore. Okay, I guess some tunes going on. Glenn, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up. You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. I need a tree topper. I think it's upstairs.
Oh, the angel. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. It's kind of our little war. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. No. Um, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. I haven't noticed. Oh, well, let me know if you do. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! Luke. That was the first time I see Kenny. In a long while. Uh... But Kenny. Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? I knew, I knew Kenny back then. Kenny, please. Luke, Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. Yeah, well, gators seem nice too, till they bite your damn arm off. Kenny. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. I'm gonna bring right, out Yeah. Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it! I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. <laughs> Bruh. Come on, Eden. So, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So... What was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. Ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. It's 
supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Huh, excuse me? You heard me. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please, there's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Ask me that can, Duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. At least that's the end, up. we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. <laughs> I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. The fuck? Oh, who's this? Spot on spine. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You're just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. Bro, you stay put. We need that food. We'll right back. I need food. Guns, bro. Man. Trump, man, trying to play God. I have a 
little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? None of your business. Oh, I don't even know you. None of your business. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it, hon. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Bro, we need that food. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. For real. Freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Oh, shit. I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was, for sure. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. What if he finds out anyway? Well, then we're fucked. But, you know, we'll just... We'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh... You still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. I know. What, you don't trust me now? He's a big boy now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta... I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. Well, are you kidding me? Nick, you shot his friend. Either way is risky. Exactly. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Oh, the knife's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh my god. It's gone. Did he find out? Oh, shit. Cigarette no, he's knife. dumb man. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. I wasn't sure then. But now? No, he, 
your nose. It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? Is he just one of those, uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. And then what? What happened on the bridge? Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. Oh, you want to eat From a right? distance, it looked like anyone. I, I, I thought I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I I shot Matthew. But it, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. You know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. to draw walkers we gotta shut it down now hey help me carry the guns guns oh hell yeah dinner bell clan packing know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, but watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us. Gun.
Damn out. Oh, the rifle. I would go from Alter right there. Clem, get inside! Go! Clementine, are you okay? Oh shit. What the hell? hell? Case. Oh, must be that carver guy. Oh, that, that body. Lady. I knew I couldn't trust her. Fuck. Howdy, folks. Damn it, monster. Where's Rebecca? Carver. Rightfully so. You just. Nice to see you too. Oh! Dad! Sarah! Inside. It's you. Oh, you. Keep moving. Just shot her. place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. And how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh! Oh! 
Ooh. Back up! No. Back up! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. No. And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Never, my dad, please. You'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. The baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? They're still outside. They can help us. Let's get out of here. Only way out is through these windows. Clem can fit. You heard him. He knows she's here. One can sneak out, find Lou. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get him. You'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. Say goodbye, Carlos. Don't look, Susie. Don't look. Dad! Nobody? Well, that's disappointing. I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. God damn it. <laughs> oh, we never did stop. listen. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Let's see if I can get your attention. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look through the window. Look through that spot. Clamp! Yeah, finally, we need more people. No! Fuck. Walt! Oh my god! <laughs> That's for our man! Now, I didn't want to do this! But you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Motherfucker. Amy, over there. Hi, Elvin. Oh shit, no. No, no. Tell him to stop. Kenny, stop. <gasps> Elvin. What do you think? Clam! Got a shot! 
No, I can't. I can't risk it. Don't shoot. What? He'll kill him. We can't just give up. Kenny, he'll keep doing this. Think about Sarita. We're coming out. Let's go. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. It's Creepazoid vibes to me. All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. Son of a bitch would have shot Walt no matter what we did. Well, I ain't going out like that. Not without a fight. Yeah, I know. The folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well. Those who choose not to accept our love. Surely we should get back. The storm is on the way. Let's see what process here. Took the took blame for Sarah's photo. If you want to Blame someone else. Loyalty, who you sit with at dinner. You with 64%. Sat so with Kenny. Well, hey, he's. Well, we'll go way back. Honestly, told Walter the truth about Matthew. Told the truth. Nick's fate. He convinced Walter to forgive Nick. Well, really? Bravery left to find Kenny. You and 43% of players sought Kenny's help. Little girl, little girl, don't lie. Wow, what an episode. We didn't have an old friend. Where did you sleep last night? In the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines. We'll shiver the whole night through. My daddy was a railroad man Killed a mile and a half from here His head was found in the driver's wheel His body was never Oh, mm -hmm.
all right folks i think i'm gonna wrap it up right here uh the nice stream this nice stream the game pretty late for me i'm about to, about to turn in at the bed uh, i want to thank everyone for two tuning to the stream i'll be enjoying this uh episode of what the walking dead and its gameplay uh and also yeah i'm gonna post this on my on my video channels my youtube channel rumble and odyssey channels so y'all can watch it anytime you want so yeah that was a real treat when i'm reuniting with kenny it's an awesome moment between clem and and, and him and i can't wait to stream more for, uh uh, episodes of the walking dead for y'all all right i'm gonna turn it right now uh want you all to have a good night or good morning or have a good afternoon wherever you are and, and which day you were in and i'll see you all soon i'll see y'all soon all right all right uh, peace out <laughs>